Well, let's go in depth on this issue right now. Joining me here in Washington is Gudir Abbas, staff attorney at the Council on American Islamic Relations. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. I want to start off with an interesting finding according to this Pew survey. Pew asked Muslim Americans what they see as the most important problem facing them here in the United States. Three in 10 say it's negative views about Muslims. Two in 10 say it's prejudice or discrimination. Ignorance about religion, religious tensions, negative media portrayals, they round out the top five. How accurate is that in your experience? Well, it's very accurate, and those two issues are very related. Uh, so the negative images of Islam in America have everything to do with the prejudice that American Muslims have had to bear for since September 11th and even before. And really, the stereotypes that are negative associated with Islam in America are the type of thing that lead a police department in New York City to uh, um, classify Muslims in in New York City, New Jersey, and up and down the East Coast as suspicion because of their faith. And, and so that is the core of the problem, and the NYPD's Muslim spying program is a symptom of this. Right. Let's look at something else, and that is, I mean, one of the places the U.S. courts uh, have held up where Muslims are targeted is at airports. Uh, supporters of racial profiling say it's smart because that's where the majority of terror threats arise. And there are even some Muslim Americans uh, like the prominent author, uh, Azra Namani, who supports it. I'm just looking at something here she wrote in 2010. She said, I realize that in recent years, profiling has become a dirty word, synonymous with prejudice, racism, and bigotry. But while I believe our risk assessment should not end with religion, race, and ethnicity, I believe that it should include these important elements. Um, can this targeting be justified in your view? It can't, uh, not only because it's unconstitutional, but also because it's unproductive. So for instance, Thomas Galati, who is head of the NYPD's Muslim spying program, had to be deposed as a result of another piece of litigation. And he indicated that actually this spying program that has taken place for over a decade now has produced no criminal leads. And so what we get from that is not only is profiling based on religious identity unproductive and unconstitutional, but it's also just a waste of taxpayer dollars. Right. You remember a few years back in 2010, there was that whole controversy that erupted over the building of a mosque um, near the 9-11 uh, um, or Ground Zero, as it became known. Uh, there was a big controversy at the time. I just want you to listen to what someone said about that. I can feel the pain in this city. I can feel the division that this mosque is causing. If they really want to, if they really want to show some tolerance, just relocate it. You know, there was a great deal of anger at the time coming from all sides, uh, and one would have expected that by now that that would have dissipated, that it would have gone away, but it hasn't, has it? No, it hasn't. And part of the reason it hasn't is because there's an anti-Muslim movement in America that is sustaining and uh, trying to foment uh, this uh, notion that Muslims are somehow treacherous and trying to subvert the Constitution of America, when in reality, uh, American Muslims are here to participate in society, our, our doctors, our taxi cab drivers, our teachers. Um, but since September 11th, there has been a proliferation of policies that have unfortunately lent credence to the notion that Muslims are suspicious and out to get everybody. And out of that policies, has that, that those have given space to the anti-Muslim movement to uh, uh, propagate these ideas that Muslims are dangerous. 10 seconds. Can the media play a better role in this? Absolutely, and the media has, to the extent that it exposes the anti-Muslim movement for what it is, as well as the uh, lack of justification for policies that target the American Muslim community, okay. such as NYPD's. Kadir Abbas, thanks for joining yes. us. Thank you. Thank you.